Okay, so we have this, the Anton Brown clip. And I'm gonna make sure that my clip is selected. Again, I, can, I know it's selected because it has that yellow range around the whole clip. And I'll make sure my inspector window is showing. You can uh, hit Command 4 for the shortcut or click on the button to make sure that it's showing the upper right. And we were working in the audio tab, but let's switch over to the video tab. And in here, we have some automatic stuff that FCP automatically throws on every clip we bring down into the timeline. So we have an effects section, which we don't have any effects applied. That's why there's nothing listed there. We have transform, we have crop, distort, stabilization, rolling shutter, um, and compositing and uh, special conform. Um, so let's, let's just work with transform so we can get a handle on how this window works. So I'm going to zoom in here. On my transform, if I hover my mouse over that horizontal bar for transform, you'll see the word show appear. It's hidden. Why they hide it, I, I don't know, but uh, show will appear. So click on show, and it will show you the, uh, the controls for the transform. Now, transform does all kinds of stuff to a clip. You can um, move it around on the timeline window. You can change the scale of the clip. You can um, rotate it, right? So let's just do a simple one. Everybody likes scaling, right? So let's just take our scale parameter and let's just move it down. And lo and behold, you know, as we move our slider down, the clip actually scales down in the in the viewer. Now off to the right, you can see the absolute parameter here. This is what percent your clip is at. It's at 55% of the original. If I click on that, it's blue. So that means it's I can click on there and input an absolute number. So let's say I want it to be 25%. I can go in there, type in 25, and hit enter. And now my clip is right at 25%. And again, uh, anywhere you see these blue parameters, that means that you can change them like I just did. Another way to change it is if I click on it and drag up and down, it also adjusts the parameter. All right? But my, my personality, I'm a very absolute guy, so I like to do numbers. All right? 25%. That's, that's what I'm going with there. All right, so let's work around uh, some rotation. Why not? So the rotation, it has a little sundial kind of looking control, and it says zero uh, degrees. I can put in a number here, like let's say 90 degrees, and hit enter. You can see that the clip now spins 90 degrees. I can click and drag on that parameter, I can rotate it, I can do whatever I want to it. Okay, same thing for position. I have the X position, which is horizontal, and I have the Y position, which is vertical placement. So if I wanted my clip to be in the upper right hand corner, I just have to drag the parameters for X, move it over to the right, drag the parameters for Y, move it up to the top. So let's say I've really screwed this, this clip up and I just kind of want to restart here. There is a reset button. It's, the, it's on the, um, the transform bar. It's the little uh, arrow that's kind of pointing backwards. If you hover over it, it says reset. If you click on that, it will reset all of the transform parameters. So again, FCP is non-destructive. You can do whatever you want to the clip. Uh, if you don't like it, you just reset it and try again. All right, you don't have to worry about really messing up any footage that you've captured or something. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this into like a real-world experiment here. Let's um, let's do these clips. We'll we'll make this clip. Um, we'll do two clips side by side. Why not? Okay, so we have our first clip here. And in order to have two clips on here, we have to shrink it down, correct? So let's change our scale. Let's do 50%, let's say. All right? And I want our 
Anton Brown guy. I want him on the left, so that means I have to adjust the horizontal parameter. So I can just click and drag. There it is. He's on the left. Okay. Pretty cool. So let's let's add another clip here. Let's add our John Force guy. So earlier we mentioned that. In the timeline, whatever clip is up on top, on the utmost of the layer stack, that's what gets shown, correct? So since our John Force interview, his scaling is 100%. He's hiding everything below because it can't show through his, his clip, right? So let's just adjust his parameters here. Let's make sure his clip is selected. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to scale. I'm going to type in 50%. Now look, now we can see, since we scaled him down, we can start to see the other clip in behind. So let's go to the position and let's move him to the right. And there you go. There's two clips on at the same time. If I go to the beginning and hit play, there they are. They're both on screen at the same time.